Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Sun out there. It's a welcome sight from all the strong and severe storms that rolled across our region yesterday. We're still battling some flooding, some flood warnings still going on, and they are rolling at the top of your screen. So if you ever encounter a flooded road, turn around, don't drown in just 12 inches of running, uh, rushing water, rather. Uh, that can sweep a car off off the road and then a person only six inches. So the power of water is real. You need to make sure you're staying careful and make sure that you are just staying prepared because we received anywhere from five to 10 plus inches of rain throughout portions of the mountains, primarily for Haywood and Buncombe counties. You can see where the dark reds and oranges are at. That was the heaviest amounts of rainfall in just the past 48 hours. The good news is we have dry conditions right now throughout the upstate. A few sprinkles happening near Mitchell County, but that's going to be it today. We are going to have a break from the active weather as Fred still spinning across the northeast. That's going to continue to track in that direction over the course of today, but before it's finally out of the continental US. So for the upstate today, 88 degrees, we are going to have a chance to dry out. The winds will be at 5 to 10 miles per hour sustained. A few showers, though, will be possible for the mountains, but it's going to be very limited and few and far between. So here's a look at future cast as I map everything out for you today. Part of the cloudy and mostly clear sky conditions. A few showers will pop up, but that's going to be about it. Overnight will dry out, but cloud cover will start to increase. So tomorrow morning's commute is looking more cloudy. Plus, by the afternoon, we'll have another round of rain showers and thunderstorms that we're going to keep a close eye on. And some areas like Asheville, Rutherfordton, the hard hit areas that had copious amounts of rainfall over the past few days have a chance for picking up another about one to possibly even two inches. So unfortunately, our flood concerns are going to stay fairly high over the course of these next about 48 to uh, 72 hours. Now briefly talking about the tropics, we have tropical storm Grace not expected to hit the continental US, but it is going to be moving west and it could strengthen into a category one hurricane and category one hurricane strength is in the forecast too for honoree as it continues to circle around Bermuda. 70 forecast consisting of temperatures in the 80s for these next few days. That's going to be region wide for the upstate and the mountains before 90s return to the forecast Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday for the upstate. Hot and humid conditions continue with a more summer like pattern.